That's why I, I missed my lesson. Because when he said watch, because I was not, I, was, I had never seen God watch me, I thought I had to look out for my Huh? But if I know God is watching me, I ain't worried about nothing happening to me. If I know God is, so now what am I supposed to be watching for? Watching God watch me. Give me the power to watch just like who? God over you. So watch. Do you know that God is watching you? Scripture reading, Exodus 15, 25 through 24. They, they, they stress the Moses about this water. They thirsty. They got the water in the desert. 24 says, then the people complained and turned to Moses. What are we going to drink? They demanded. That's how y'all do. Y'all demand Bishop to say something, then say, I'm just asking. You ain't asking, you're told me. And I like it when you tell me what I'm going to do, because I laugh then. Yeah. I laugh. Come on. I just have to laugh. But then Moses cried out to the Lord for help. See, our problem is when people get in trouble, we give them us instead of God. My Lord. And the way we give them us instead of God is we either fisting to do something for them or trying to figure something out for them. It said Moses cried out on their behalf unto who? God. See, Moses said, I don't want to have to revisit this water thing anymore. So I'm going to deal with the one that can make it a permanent thing and get rid of it and don't become, become a recurring problem. So he cried out to the Lord for help. And the Lord showed him a piece of wood. And Moses threw it into the water. And this made the water good to drink. In other words, the water was bitter. So, when I was bitter in school, as a student at Lincoln Park Elementary right over there, my teacher showed me a piece of wood. <laughs> Y'all young folk don't know nothing about that. Come on now. They used to call it the Board of Education. Uh -huh. And I promise you, when you were bitter, if you had ever visited the Board of Education, you became very unbitter, and, and you went into prayer, I won't do it. And my favorite prayer was, I won't do it no more. No. That, that, that was a prayer prayer when, when I saw that Board of Education. When the teacher showed me that piece of wood, I went into prayer, I won't do it no more. Come on, come on, tell me. I knew some, some, when they saw the board of education, they start crying. Ah, I won't do it no more. All right now. Come on. But Jesus, God showed Moses a piece of wood. He told him, throw the wood into the water. And this made the water good to drink. How in the world is a piece of wood going to make bitter water good. It ain't how in the world. It is how is God going to make bitter water, water good? Through his, somebody say his will. His will can do what I don't understand. His will can explain what I don't know. I need the will of God because in the will of God is wisdom beyond my understanding. That's right. Glory. Throw the wood in the water, and it was made. It made it good to drink. It, it was there at Mara that the Lord set before them the decree, the following decree, as a standard test for their for, the, for their faithfulness to Him. Are you faithful to God? I got a I got a surprise speaker. You ain't told me. I got a surprise speaker tomorrow night. Gonna speak with me tomorrow night. And I gotta get to speak. Pastor don't even know who it is. Mm. Like like when Mr. Marilyn came and preached that day, Deacon, Deacon gonna get up there and say, What you said? 
We go home because you know what? I got to preach in the house. Always got to preach in the house. That's right. We preached up. So what's up, preacher? Amen. And, and, and what I like about it, she got down. Yes. And how I know she got down? She didn't preach her way. She didn't preach herself away from the church. All other times she preached. She, she preached so good, she preached herself right on out of here. <laughs> There's a preacher in the house. Amen. Amen. But, but he said, he did this to test the faithfulness. When God wants to test your faithfulness, he puts you in a place where He's going to ask you to do something that you don't want to do. He's going to ask you to do something that you don't even understand. He's going to ask you to do something that looks like it makes no sense. And sometimes it might even look wrong. And God said, are you faithful to me or are you faithful to the process called religion? Are you faithful to me? I'm going somewhere here because, because you don't understand you act like God don't know when you are unfaithful. You act like God don't know when you say say this and do that. Do you know God is watching? Not some of the time, but all the time. Because He's an all-time God. Yes, sir. He's Almighty. He's a, He's my all in all. He's always. He's always God. Yes, sir. In other words, his love never fails because he's always God. He's always God. He's always God. Mm -hmm. yes. And I'm trying to get into uh, uh, some of that all. Come on, somebody. Yes. And all that I need to is uh, always stay out of other folk business. Come on. <laughs> always not worry about what other folk win. Yeah, right. Always tell the truth about Baby, don't cook that no more because you sure can't cook. Always! Always tell the truth. That's the point I'm making. I ain't met nobody in this. No, don't you say that, bitch. You're going to always be lying. <laughs> I feel like I ain't met nobody in the church who can't cook, but some of y'all do yourself a favor. Stay in your lane. My God. You see, you ain't, you, you ain't nice all the time. I, 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 God ain't never say be nice all the time. He said always tell the truth all the time. Y'all yeah. <laughs> got that thing twisted. Amen. He said if you will listen, if you will listen, if you will listen, if you will listen and let Bishop finish. <laughs> we won't have a ride walk down the dirt road. Yeah. <laughs> if you will listen carefully. See, when he says, listen carefully, your thought can't interpret this. Be careful about responding too early, even if at all. Listen carefully. Be careful while you listen. Because we are about to step into a place that says, if you will listen carefully to the voice of the Lord your God. I told y'all this morning, I gave y'all a, 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 a reading out of the book of um, Brother Andrew Murray, and he said, the Holy Spirit is the voice of God. So now when I become, pastors, we were talking about that microphone that don't turn off, I am the Holy Spirit that that is representing who? God. And God said the Holy Spirit will bring you into all truth. Yeah, yeah. And will lead you. And will guide you. And guess what? You are not subject to the Holy Spirit just because you're a clergy. Yes, sir. You could be a saint in the church. Yeah. But bitch, I'm just not smart enough. You're smarter than a duck and the Holy Spirit spoke to a duck and save a prophet. So don't, don't downplay yourself. Yes. You're not worth less, you're worth what? More. So as we hear this, it says, 
and, 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 and he said, you will listen to the captain to the voice of the Lord, your God, and do what is right, do what is right, do what is right, do what is right in his sight. Now what is right in his sight is not what's in the Bible. Can I explain this? Obeying, what does it say? Do what is right in his sight, obeying his commands and keeping all his decrees, then I will not make you suffer any of the diseases I sent on the Egyptians. You are dis you are running around here with diseases and you're thinking it's a sickness, but God said you are diseased because you're not in my will. Dis-ease. You were never meant to be sick. Just like you were never meant to be a sinner. But you will not come out of saying that you're sick when you get sick and you remain sick. I remained sick for 30 years. Listen to other sick folk. How a sick person gonna tell you you ain't sick? Come on now. You run around here letting sick people tell you what you is and what you're not. Because my point is, if you are not walking in the totality of what we learned today, that God says some of y'all ain't never been sick, but on purpose, divine, divine, divine purpose of God. Yes, sir. Set up to be a living, come on somebody, some of y'all want to be word witnesses, but very few of y'all want to be living witnesses. Oh, my. Set up to be a living witness by God and God all by himself. God said you'll never know that you, you'll never know the power of healing except you've been to a place where you were healed. You'll never know the power of deliverance except you've been to a place that you could not deliver yourself out of and you got to deliver out of. You'll never know. Yes, sir. My God, my God. My God, my God. So as I talk to you this morning, do what is right in his sight, obeying his commands and keeping all his decrees, then I will not make you suffer any of the diseases I sent on the Egyptians. Those who thought they were masters. Mm, mm. Those who thought they were owners of what belonged to God. Uh -huh. Some of y'all think y'all are masters. Some of y'all think y'all got to own something in order for it to obey you. Baby, I tell you what, you ain't they ain't obeying you, they scatter you. Ain't obeying you. Obedience is an act of willfulness. That woman ain't obeying you. She's scared you ain't gonna pay no more bills, so she do what you say. That woman ain't obeying you. She's scared you're gonna hit her, so she do what you say. And you'll never know the sensuality of a woman. As long as she's obeying unwillfully, uh -oh. All right, you'll never know the insistuality of church members as long as they're obeying, obeying unwillfully. Yeah. All right. They know you're gonna drop the hammer, Bishop. So they, so no, I laugh with y'all, I play with y'all. Because the bottom line is, I don't want you to scare me. Yeah. Come on now, come on. But some of y'all. Yeah, I'm looking at you. Just because I made you not feel scared of me, you act like what night you tried to make I like I pulled me still to you. <laughs> Don't get it twisted. I can I can deal with you because I don't want God to do nothing to you because you, you you I'm I'm not that anointed, but just in case I am, I am appointed, so I, I might I might be some kind of anointed because I was appointed and I don't want God to do nothing to you. Oh, no. I understand. And see, if I get upset, your baby come home crying. And your teeth, and they about 12, about, about 8, 9 years old. And they come home crying, upset, messed up. What's wrong with you? <laughs> teeth is about me four times. Oh, my teeth, 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 No, she slapped me four times. No, she, she, she hit you on the hand with the roof. No, she slapped me four times, mama. Guess who else upset? Mama. Mama. What do you know about the girl? So I be trying to deal with her. Because I want God upset. <laughs> so I don't 
kilos. Because I want you to have a check. Because I promise you, if I get upset, God will get upset. Yes, he is. Thank you. I'm so glad you stopped that phone because I did my good deed for the day. I'm so glad you got that phone. So, for I am the Lord who heals you. God is watching. He's watching. What needs healing is your minds. He said, I will renew your mind. He never promised to make cancer go away. He said, I renew your mind. He never promised to make diabetes go away. He said, I renew your mind. He said, only thing that, the only way you lost is in your mind. The only thing I'm going to heal is your mind. And Pastor said, she said, I'm not the old DC, but she, so she indicated that she was a new DC, but she, God don't want her to be a new DC because a new DC at the right price can go back into the oh. old DC. He wants us to become a new creature in him by letting him renew our mind in the process of renewing our mind. He says, heal the way you see all things. I need to heal you through the way you see corona. I need to heal you through the way you see diabetes. I need to heal you through the way you see cancer. It is something that I know that's going on because I am watching. Pastor Lisa, mm -hmm. how many points are you? Three. Yeah, three points. You say to go to church out there raising hell with people who don't go to church. They cussing you out, you cussing them out. They're supposed to cuss you out because they don't know God. So who the fool in this equation? Deal with you. There's some that don't know God. Is watching. So they don't care how they act because they don't know God is watching. And y'all must go to a church. And I'm praying that, that, that by now you've been going to the Spirit of Jesus long enough to know that God is everywhere. Everywhere. He, he, see, he see everything all the time. He see everything all the time. I hope you at the Spirit of Jesus know that there's some out there that just don't know. I'm sitting at the table with my mom yesterday. I took my mom out to, um, we, 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 we went to um, Smoky Bones. So I can't go to Smoky Bones today because my wife going to say we did. I don't know why she let me go yesterday. So, so, so when we go, I tell you, the pastor's going to say, what do we eat today? I was going to say Smoky Bones. She's going to say, no, I'm not going to Smoky Bones because we went there yesterday. And I thought, as I thought about it, I knew that's why she let me go to Smoky Bones so that she didn't want to go on Sunday with the family. Because they let me, I go to Smoky Bones every Sunday. So, what I'm trying to get you to understand is God knows everything already. Already. Amen. But you don't know who you are. That person that lied on you, God already knows. That person that, that makes you feel bad, God already knows. But my question is, do I know God? I ain't got to that yet. God already knows that they don't know. The question is, why am I acting like they supposed to know when they, I know they don't go to church. I know they don't serve God. I know this. I know this. I know this. I know this. So what am I supposed to be doing? Know what I do? I tell them you don't know who you're messing with. I tell them God going to get you. Now, I'm acting like somebody who don't know God because God don't want to get nobody. God wants them to get to know him. So that takes me to my point too, Pastor. There's some that don't know. And then you got some fools that know God is watching and don't care. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Now you call me Mr. Earl, I'm a fool, but there was time Mr. Earl in case she was in the church, out of church, where she was at. If you burn her right there, you're going to get burned right now. Just like her mama told me, you act up in the store, you're going to get. Yo, oh, I'm gonna scout pepper, I'm breaking that. You look up in the air. You're gonna get hit right, you're gonna, you're gonna get hit, beat right when you act up. That's our, that's our philosophy. 
She knew it better these days since we learned how to uh, welcome her to the church. Hallelujah. You do a little better. You do a little better, Mom. Missionary, don't call her mother. Don't call her mother. So what I'm trying to say to you is that some are just don't care. And this is when you find out when they don't care. They don't care who you are. And I ain't talking about you being bishop. Here I am supposedly going to church. Supposedly knowing God, Sister Martin, but this morning, that was God who told me to let you pray. Amen. Amen. So, Amen. So, so we can see the diamond that we had in the church. We Lord saw a diamond this morning, and we didn't even recognize it as a diamond. Because, because she, she just comes, she sits in the back, she sits back there humbly. Amen. But there's some that just don't care that you are a child of God. Now, a church person that goes to church and don't care, they don't care that you don't know God. You feel it. you cuss me, I'm going to cuss you. You slap me, I'm going to slap you. Don't care that God is what? Watching. Dangerous place to be. I'd rather, I'd rather be one that didn't know pastor than one that don't care. I'd rather be one that didn't know God was watching than, 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 than one that be one that didn't care that God was watching. Amen. God is watching the weeds growing my bread. Oh, Lord. Uh-huh. What are you? And if I come tomorrow and the, and the weeds still in that bread, they're going to know I know. A man of God wasn't asleep. So we'll be nice and we'll be kind. Uh, and, and, and you'll know I'm mad because I'll be laughing about as I say it. <laughs> like I'm laughing right now. <laughs> There's some that don't care. Can you imagine coming to church all the time and not caring about how God sees you? Why come? Better that you had not known me than to know me. Why even come? If I'm not coming here to learn how to be the voice of God, why am I coming? Right now. If I'm not coming here to learn how to live in, according to the Spirit of Jesus, why Spirit of Jesus? Why Spirit of Jesus? Why Spirit of Jesus? Why Spirit of Jesus? If I'm not coming to live, learn how to live according to the Spirit of Jesus, why am I not going to church by the lake and don't care about nobody? Instead of coming to the Spirit of Jesus. Oh. What's the name of your church? My church is Church by the Lake. They don't care about nobody. We need fake peace, fake forgiveness, fake salvation, mm. fake truth. Mm. Church by the lake. Mm. They don't care about nobody. There's some that just don't care. And, and, and y'all, 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 y'all look at Bishop and y'all say, Bishop, sometimes you act like you don't care because the thing you talking about is world, and I don't concern myself with things of the world. Because I just got two fat tires. And, and, and I don't know what to do. And I used to thought I, I, I would step in and try to be a providential God. Providential God is one that stands there with God. I'm not going to stand. Like I'm not a stand up comic. I'm not a stand in God. Come on now. Come on now. And that's our problem. We've got a whole lot of folks in here trying to be stand up God. And, and you're not God. God said, introduce me, water, I'm a plant, and, and move on. Let me work. No, no, I got uh, some of us, we go in, we sit at the person on morning, and we, see, we, our problem is, we want to see it grow. That's not your job. Come on now. I want to see, I want to see, I, before I leave this church, if I would have waited for this man to start speaking in church, and I said, I ain't coming back to the church, till he start talking on the front row, I'd have been, I'd have, I'd have been out of this church for four or five years. But I planted something in, in, in the deep. Mm-hmm. And then day we can't shut him up on the front porch. Because who worked it out? Oh. God did. Hallelujah. All you got to do is put it in the spirit and then oh. sit back and get you a dollar pepper and some popcorn and watch God do a good thing. Come on, somebody. Yeah. You watch God do a thing and you oh, yeah. The problem is you're trying to be a prominent to God. You're trying to get results. But you're always supposed to be planting and working. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yeah. I got to see him talk. I got to see him pray. Uh-huh. I got to see him. I got to see him. I got to see him. The reason I got to see it so I can say, I did it. Yeah. Oh, Lord. Watch out now. Watch out now. I got to see you because I can say, I did it. But I will tell you who's watching you trying to take credit for his work, and that is God is watching, watching. you. Yeah. 
There was once a man broke in a house. A man broke in a house and uh -huh. when he broke in the house, the house was dark and, and the parrot in the house and, and the man came in, the parrot said, Jesus was watching you and the cook looked around and looked at the parrot and said, so what? You ain't gonna do nothing. You you are some kind of alarm. And the parrot said, Jesus is watching you. And the man, the parrot, the man kept counting up his belongings. And the parrot said, Jesus is watching you. And then the man went to walk in this one room. And he met Jesus, that 265 pound rock wilder. Uh -huh. That the owner named Jesus. Uh -huh. I come to tell you right now, Jesus, come on somebody. He's watching you. There's some things in your life that you don't understand that, that Jesus, that Jesus don't know, but he got that rock wild on oh, watch. You better watch. You better hear what the word of God says.
faithful as you beat my son Jesus. And I wasn't. And this, 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 this what y'all say, mother. How in the world is she going to sit up there and say, I beat Jesus? I went even then. But Jesus died for your sins. And every time you sin and you willfully sin, knowing that you're sinning, don't care about your sinning, acting like you don't know that God is watching, God said, you are beating my son. My God. Oh, wow, that's me. My God, my God. So I, 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 hear, I hear y'all this. Bitch, you talking about I beat Jesus. I wouldn't even get about that, but you're here right now. Uh-huh. Yeah. Persecuting him. Yeah. There's God's permissive will. And it's God's perfect will. Yeah. Oh. God's perfect will is when you have the strength not to sin. Mm -hmm. God's permissive will is when you're in sin, yet love. Oh. He is going to permit anything on this earth you're going to be involved in. Otherwise, he would not have put it, come on, Pastor, on this earth. That's right. I got to deal with these jokes. I can use Dick and Joe because Dick and Joe knows he don't get on my nerves. I say somebody like Richard really did bitch, bitch, like man, you bitch, you ain't have to tell anybody you mad me every week. Oh. <laughs> I ain't never had a joke. Except he give me a scoop while the weeds in my growing in my grass tomorrow. Oh Lord. Cause he ain't he, one thing about Joe, Joe ain't Joe ain't gonna do too much work, but he gonna remind you the work that needs to be done. <laughs> He's going to tell you, bitch, we got to get these weeds out. Did he help you? Yes, he will. Yes, he will. Yes, he will, yeah. man. That's why I keep saying Joe, because I know Joe going to say, D? Yes, he will. And I got one D, he, he'll say, man, I got a work day. <laughs> I got another D, he say, man, we'll do that tomorrow. Yes, he will. And then Joe going to say, when one, one D said, he had a work day. <laughs> And Dick and Joe said, and other D said, we'll do that tomorrow. <laughs> That's why I gave him an assignment. <laughs> so what I'm trying to say to you, and I want you to understand is, everything, <laughs> everything, <laughs> everything, <laughs> everything put on this, my buddy Bob, no. everything put on this earth. God put it here for you to go through it. And this is the part we don't understand. When you go through chaos, yeah. like right now, I'm not comfortable sitting like this. Uh -huh. God gave, God gave tools to Satan to piss you off. Make one chaotic moment. That chaotic moment was made by God for Satan to use against. Oh, stop, Mister! Stop, stop. Satan didn't make one place of hell. Hell was made by God to use again. Satan did not create one lie. God gave him that lie to use again. God equipped him. Do y'all hear what I just said? Yeah. Come on. With tools to make you uncomfortable. To see if you're going to be as faithful to him. As he has been to you. Because you know why? You use, you use those same tools against God. My God. I'm going to go steal because I ain't got no money. Mm. I'm going to go lie. I'm going to tell this lie because if I lie, they'll give me what I want. We use the same tools against God. And, 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 and you didn't come up with them. Satan threw them at you and he made you think it was your idea. That's all you got to do is make you, you don't want to take nobody else's idea. So all Satan got to do is make you think it was your idea. And then when it don't work out, then you go tell God, the devil made you do it. Oh. But if it work out, man, see how I got over but when it don't work out, you blame the devil. But when, when your bad stuff work out, you talk about how you got over. Come on now, buddy. Don't you know when you got over and you stole them TVs out that store and, 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 and you and, 
and, and, and you didn't get caught. Don't you know somebody lost their job? Somebody went under? God is a God of battles. Life is a life of battle. When you get over, somebody's going down. Come on, baby. Wake up, people. You are supposed to be the one to know that God is watching, so I'm not trying to get over. I'm trying to stay with who? God. I'm ready to grow up and stop counting sins and realize I'm living as a sick person when I'm supposed to be living in the healing in which Jesus died for. I'll say this one more time. You don't have to hear anything else. Sin is nothing but a distraction to make you focus on to not make you realize how sick you are. God wants to renew our minds. When he renews our mind, we now begin to live in his healing power with the power to heal others because of our relationship with him. I'm too I got a relationship with God. What else do I need? I got a relationship with God. Because of my relationship with God that I wouldn't turn back, you need to see this building I own today. Beautiful. Anybody, anybody saw me on Facebook the other night? Y'all saw my put out for me? When you're driving down the main street like sunrise, on the outside of the street it said, Firm Robinson, Craig and Rodden. Can't miss it. I ain't got enough money to buy nothing like that. But I'm faithful. Yeah. I'm faithful, saints. I got clients right now that that, that ain't that that, that, that they, they, they ain't gonna let me want for nothing because they know I won't. They they depend on my expertise. Yeah, yeah. So when people depend on you, that's how I know y'all depend on me. Cause when people depend on you. They're going to make sure you're comfortable. Yeah. And they ain't trying to create no comfort by taking from you. Oh, my God. When people depend on you, I got to make sure stress don't kill my bishop. Uh-huh. I got to make sure stress don't kill my pastor. Come on now. Because I need him. I need her. I know God. My Lord. And I know every disease comes from stress. Come on now. Y'all see, y'all still looking at the disease rather than the dis-ease. I am stressful when somebody take me out of my zone. I'm stressful when things don't go my way. Stress is nothing but a place of dis-ease, but because you didn't hear that Jesus say, I died for your sins and your sickness. I walk around in stress. I'm not concerned about the comfort of your pastor. Because when you walk around in stress, the way you get rid of your stress is to give it to somebody. Yeah. I got a bill. So she said she's going to pay my bill. Mm-hmm. Now she's got to juggle her bill to pay my bill, add stress to her, while I've I, I come out. Now she's about to die. But I'm waiting. Because she turned herself into a providential God to take care of my stress. You're supposed to make sure your leaders are comfortable. I ain't asking you to pay for my bills, but hell, I don't want to pay yours either. Come on, saints, wake up. You act like you don't know God is the father of all things. God is the ultimate provider. Put your total trust in him. See, when you put your total trust in in him, guess what? You're going to be honored at it. You're going to be talked about You're going to look like a fool because he told you my people look strange. My people are peculiar. That the world ain't going to accept you. If you're going to carry some stress, you carry the stress of one that's going to reward you for your stress. If you're going to carry some stress, you carry the stress of the one that's going to reward you. Spiritually. Oh, yeah. Because if my spirit is right, I ain't got to look at my body 
being sick. Come on, now. So my spirit is right. I ain't got to worry about getting sick because of stress. I need my spirit right. Ooh. Oh, Lord. I don't even know if y'all seen y'all new pastor. The one that had the, now a new mind in God. When y'all call me with your, with your woes and your worries, I, I compliment you until you try to add stress to me by making me take on your problem. I say, okay, I'll see you later. Uh-oh. Because I'm not your God. That's right. Even women, ain't your daddy? Uh-uh. Men, that's even work for me to be your daddy. Uh-uh. Somebody had to wake me up. I met around one day, and I thought I was speaking in tongues. I said, Cow suck the motorcycle three times. Cow suck the motorcycle. Cow suck the motorcycle. Cut. And this stuff said, You're not God. God is watching me pretend like I'm Him. And I can't get rid of my stronghold trying to act like I'm God for you. Oh, my God. Because every time you try to act like God, God gonna, God, gonna, God gonna show you, he gonna, he gonna blow up your weakness. Every time you try to walk in the place of him, he gonna blow up your weakness. Every, not some of the time, but every time, he gonna blow up your, every time you get in his way, whatever that weakness he put in your life, he gonna blow it up. You're not their savior. Jesus already did that. You're not their creator. So get out of the way and let them come to me. So I know y'all thought this sermon was about God watching you do bad things. God is watching you try to get credit for who you're not. Ain't nobody you doing bad things. So he got an answer for bad things. Y'all know the answer for bad things? He's going to balance that out one day with your good. Oh, my God. So I only work, I had to learn that too. Good, I don't care how bad you are, one day your, a good going to come and balance that out. What God is upset with, the people who are running around here robbing folk, in church, treating church like a business, stepping in the way so people can't grow spiritually because they're trying to fill in all the blanks when they have a problem. That's my fault. Every time you end up being a providential of God, you're going to blow up your weakness. Why am I going through what I'm going through? Something in my spiritual rep repertoire is out of order. And what's out of order is I'm not mentally sick. I will not let God shape my mind from a mind of a human into the mind of a spiritual being. I will not let God shape my mind. So he's watching, he's watching, he's watching, and guess what he's doing? He said, okay, when you become spiritual, the thing you love the most when you were human is the thing I'm going to take away from you first. He ain't watching your bad when you're human. He's watching what's challenging him. My wife, my kids, my car, my house. My business. So how I got to write that? I said the wife you gave me, the kids you gave me, the business you gave me. Yeah. I take me out of the equation and I call him. Amen. Because I know what he's going to do with mine. He's going to torture me with it. My husband. The husband you gave me. My husband. The husband you gave me. And when he's not your husband, my husband, the husband you gave yourself that I'm going to take from you. You got to hear the word of God today. 
Whatever you gave yourself that was going to bring you joy and, and is challenging and rivaling God, he's going to take it away. And every time he takes it away, he shows you, oh my God, don't do this, Lord, don't do this, don't do this, but I'm going to do it. Every time God takes something away, he shows you that he, he show you that, 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 that he is not your God. Because when it's walking out the door, you, you cry and run behind you. But you don't cry and run the church for God. God is watching how you are treating not them, but them. God is watching. What are you running behind? Other than God. You don't think God know? You're walking in blessings, but you can't get the anointing because the one that you're running behind can't anoint you. They can bless you. Because you know why they can bless you? Because blessings are not eternal. The anointing is eternal. Blessings are temporary. You think God is watching? Do you know that God is watching? Oh my God. Y'all, 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 y'all. Don't come no more. I don't care. Laying in your bed? That's the same when your bed is more is the challenge of God. Jesus. You don't think God is what? Lord. I mean, it's one thing. I promise you, when pastor have to work on a church night, I promise you, God told us he had to work because he didn't even ask, can I get on? I know some of y'all, when y'all got to work on church night, y'all, y'all, y'all jump to a hallelujah shout. You don't think God watch it? I know y'all don't like me right now, but guess what? Y'all didn't hire me? Yeah. Get him a pastor. Tell, tell, please. I need you to tell him, Pastor. Can't hire Tell him, tell him, tell him. You got a t-shirt in there. Tell him, Pastor. Can't hire Tell him, Pastor. Yeah, can't hire him. That's my daughter. If I handle her like that, what you think I care about you? You step on me wrong, tell him again, Pastor. Can't hire him. You got a t-shirt in there, right, Pastor? My Lord. That's my baby. She can accept the truth yes. and still love me. Some of y'all, I tell y'all to guess what? Huh? Y'all, I like, I'm watching on you instead of God. God, watch. Yes, yes, he is. Yes, he is. You better hope it's Jesus. Oh, Lord. You better, you better hope it's Jesus. See ya. See, see, see ya. She dropped her phone. I did a good deed. I dropped my glasses. Ain't nobody doing this. Everybody oh, my Jesus. God. In the name of Christ Jesus. <laughs> Try to get somebody to do the beat. Y'all get it? Yes, yes. Sir. There's nothing you're doing. My Lord. When God, when, when God came walking through the garden. Said Adam, Adam, where art thou? Uh -huh. Don't you know God already knew what had happened? And they insulted him. It's this woman you gave me. Well, it was that, it was that, it was that serpent that was in him. Nobody said, Lord, I don't know why I did it, but I did. That's all God wants. Don't give him a reason why you poor him. <laughs> Why you messed up? Let your trouble be water like on, water like on a duck's bicycle. Mm -hmm. Speak the truth about it. Yeah. And God wants you in a place of I don't know so he can show you what he knows so you'll know next time. But as long as you blame somebody else and you don't go to a place of I don't know, you will always come back to where you are. Lord, what? You know why you won't say, I don't know? Because the devil talked to your mama how to slap you in the mouth every time you said, I don't know. Yeah. But God wanted, I don't know. Y'all know what's up. Why did you do that, boy? 
Hold on, more film. That's what God wants. When they're not operating in God, they use things against you in the places that God wants you to respond. But you, you, you've been trained that you're going to get hit. You're going to get punished. So you're too scared to say, I don't know. God cannot work in you no more. Too scared. I said, I don't know. Everybody listen to that? Amen. Oh, God. Yes. Blessings, blessings, blessings. Lord, I'll go. I'll go. I'll go. I'll go. God, 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 do you know God is watching? Not that, see, the problem is, God is watching, God is watching, but you telling everybody else that, but do you know He's watching? Yeah. Uh -oh. Joe, what I told you today. Nigga Joe said, Bishop, Mother Mary Lee got on black. I said, worry about what? Choke out. Then I said that. God watching what you are in. It ain't about what you got on, it's about. The order. order. Yes. If you can't follow the simple orders of, of church, yes. how are you going to follow the orders of heaven? Yes. If you can't follow the simple orders of a church, how are you going to follow the orders of heaven? What are we going to tell God? When we, God will allow you to do something wrong. Yes. I told you this morning, nothing happens unless God commands it or allows it. Mm -hmm. So he wants permiss permissive will going to come in, mm -hmm. and he's going to be outside of his perfect will, mm -hmm. and he's going to come to you, and you're going to say, but well, Bishop had to preach that, I wouldn't have did that, instead of saying, I don't know. Mm -hmm. If Bishop had to preach that, I wouldn't have did that. Yeah. My wife wouldn't have said what she said, I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have did that. Fool, mm -hmm. how many times you blame you keep, keep that rock while to keep you. Jesus can't hold God up for, for so long. He ain't say God, he's a replacer of God. He's an interceding for God long enough for his mercy to work. But if his mercy don't work, he, he, he said, I'll send Satan your way. And, and by the time Satan comes, I promise you, like my grandma would say, you'll get the perm real quick. You'll get the perm. Baby, did you get the perm? Yeah, baby. Yeah, grandma. The prayer I'm trying to make, my grandma is point. Babe, don't tell me what to say. I'm, I'm older than you. Amen. The prayer yeah. I'm trying to make. Point. My grandma said, current. Current. Southern. Very southern. Very southern. The older people, they don't say point. They say current. Can I, anybody have a grandma to say current? Yeah. And the other one, they like to say, uh, uh, you gonna hold me with this? Yeah. Why you ain't hold me with this? Yeah. I like that, right? I'm gonna start saying that. Yeah. You, you, cause that's good. Yeah. You gonna hold me with this? You gonna add to my hope? Right. I'm gonna start saying help, cause y'all, y'all don't, y'all don't like that word help. I'm gonna say y'all, you gonna hold me with this? <laughs> cause y'all don't like that word help. Y'all be worried. What's it gonna cost me? <laughs> Jesus. I'm gonna do like Grandma said. You gonna, didn't you say you gonna hold me? You gonna hold me with this? Mm. Without God, I could do nothing. Without God, I would fail. Without God, my life would be drifting like a ship. Without a sail, without God, I could do nothing. 
in my own praise and worship in Kansas, and, 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 and Pastor and beat me up, so I hold y'all. Without God, you can do nothing. Without God, you would fail.